hey, workshop man, okay. how is the weekend cruise going to be like? Because me and my guy were going to that resort I told you about. With some pretty damn selves. What's up with you now? Are you going to be here or are you going with us? I'm here. That is why Dr. Modi likes you. What do you mean? I mean, the only thing you do is walk, walk, walk. Ha! Huh. Guy, you know what? Enjoy your weekend. Still at the hospital. Excuse me. Is anything the problem? Are you seriously asking me what the problem is? Babe, I'm so sorry, okay? It's been a long day today. You always have an excuse. Babe, please understand. Yes, I understand. I understand that your work always comes before me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm in your house with dinner that I slaved to prepare for our anniversary. If in the next one hour you are not here, then I know where we stand. Babe, you know the situation of traffic in this side now. Please, just give me an hour and a half. Okay? I promise I'll be home. <sighs> Hello? They picked this call. Sorry, doctor. It's okay. What What's the problem? We need you, doctor. You need me how? I'm done for today. I know, but there's no other doctor around. What other doctor? Where is she? She left the hospital and we can't reach her. And Dr. Amudu is here to come in. It's an emergency, Doctor. An emergency? Yes, Doctor. Let's go. Okay, Doctor. Plenty questions. I don't know. I told you I was at work. Yes, I was at work. No, no, I was actually at home. Oh, I'm confused. When I came home and then she, you know, she screamed from her room and I rushed and then 
<laughs> no, I'm just going to give her some medicine and she wouldn't take. <sighs> okay, mommy, listen, just put L in your prayers. I beg you, okay? Please. Okay? Yes. Listen, the doctor just came in. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, madam. Hi, doctor. What's the problem? I, I was at home working on my computer when I heard a loud scream from her room. So I rushed there only for her to complain about her stomach. And then she's been crying ever since. It's okay. Oh, hi. Hey, what's your name? El. Oh, it's uh, a beautiful name, okay? Okay, okay. So I'm gonna run some little tests on your stomach now. Okay. Okay, you'll be fine, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, it's okay. Is it pain in you? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, okay. Idara. Mrs. Idara. Miss. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Miss Idara. I think it's a case of appendicitis. Huh? How? Because she's only eight years old. I've seen children of her age have it. But don't worry. We'll carry out a scan to be sure that's what is disturbing her, okay? Oh my goodness. That means she's going to undergo a surgery. A scan will determine that. Excuse me. She. She's fine. She's been sedated. So you can go and see her now. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's okay. Thank you. I'll go and see her. Okay, I'll go.
Hello? Yeah, it's the first house on your right. When you get into the street. Okay, thank you. Amaka. Where are you going? Okay. I'm I'm sorry for what happened yesterday, okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I will just do better. That's what I always hear. Amaka, it's not my fault. I was about leaving when I had emergency. And I need to attend to them. I'm sorry. That's why this has to happen. So that you can give your patients your undivided attention. Amaka, what are you saying? What are you doing? Look, I'm sick and tired of being treated like a distraction rather than a priority. Amaka, you know my line of work. You know how hectic it is. Machu, I work and I still manage to put us first. The sad thing about this whole thing is that you and I know that this is not just about your work. Amaka, what are you insinuating? You're hiding something, and I know you're just using your work to cover it up. I don't know who or what you're hiding from, but I'm not going to wait to find out whatever it is. Hello? Okay, I'm coming. to buy for holiday. I have a lot of them. You do? Yes. It's beautiful. Thank you. Doctor, please, can you help me with my headband? Okay. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yes. I always like to have it on. It makes me look like Princess Elsa. Princess Elsa? Who is that? Princess Elsa from Frozen. Okay. I'm 100% sure that no matter who the person is, she's not as beautiful as you are, Elizabeth. Elizabeth? And I assume that's the short form of Elizabeth. Well, it is. I named her after my grandmother. How is she doing, doctor? Yes. You don't need to panic, okay? She will be fine. Oh. And how long does she have to stay in the hospital for? She'll be discharged soon. Okay. Well, doctor, meet my friend Rita. Um, yes. Rita. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.
for three days now. What do you want me to do? The doctor said you have to eat this for some time and then after a while you can start eating normal food. But it's not sweet. Just manage it. <laughs> no. Please add sugar, milk or honey. Anyone. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, doctor. Why the face? Is anything a problem? I'm hungry and I don't want to eat pap again. Oh. Can you see what I'm dealing with here? My friend open up her mouth and eat. No. no it's okay. It's okay. Okay, let me have it. I saw it yesterday. What? Frozen. Wow, you saw Frozen. Yes, I watched both of them. You saw Frozen too? Exactly. Haven't you watched wow. it? Mommy never allowed me to go to the cinema when it came out. I allow you to watch TV in my house. You should be grateful. <sighs> okay, this is it. Now you need to promise me to take this. Yeah. And then I promise you in two days time, I'll take you to the cinema to go watch it. With the approval of you all. With sugar. What about milk? Don't you want to know what happened to Elisa? Elsa. Oh. Yes, Elsa. Hmm. Okay. You promise? I promise. Okay, fine. I'll take it. You can feed. Now you can feed her. Thank you. <sighs> Remember, you promised to take it. And I promise to take you to the cinema. Okay. So, start it. It feels like magic, and that's how I can describe it. Since you came into the picture, something feels so right. What is happening to me? I can feel it, it's so real. Like the breaking of the day. Thank God you came my way. Ever since you came through, everything has changed. I'm lost for words, I don't know what to say. I guess that's how it feels to be touched by an angel. You like my world when you call my name, and I just can't deny it. I've been touched by. I just wanted to see how she's doing before leaving. Ah, she's asleep. Oh, look at her. She's sleeping like an angel. Yes, she sure does. <laughs> I wonder who she take that from. <laughs> okay, I'll be leaving now. Have a lovely night, eh? Good night. Good night. Please, doctor, I will need you to sign up the discharge papers for the patient on Ward 7. I will do that next time, okay? But, doctor... I said I would do that next time. Okay, doctor. Oh, doctor, it's Rita, Idara's friend, remember? Yeah, it's okay. How are you? I'm very well. Yes. Um, 
Look, doctor, I know it's late, but can I see her? Please? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. How is she? She's fine. Hopefully, we should be leaving the hospital very soon. I spoke to the nurse. That is good news. Well, you know another person that is fine? That doctor is fine. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Girl, you are one person that fits with her eyes. So don't even give me that look. What? What do you want me to do? Well, if not for this ring that Emeka slipped on my finger, I and that doctor will be on our second date. But isn't there some doctor-patient rule against that? <laughs> Besides, I don't even think of him like that. <laughs> Thank goodness he is else doctor and not yours. My friend keeps speaking English. Don't go and start shooting your shots. I can't worry my head about things like that, okay? I have responsibilities to worry about. Idara, raising L is a lifetime responsibility. You want to be unhappy for the rest of your life. L is my happiness. <laughs> yeah, and you've been hiding behind that for the past eight years now. Rita, please. You do realize that Richard is not coming back, right? Thanks for stating the obvious. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to get you upset. Listen, of course I want to date. But I don't want to get into a relationship that will lead to nowhere. I want something that's built to last forever. Exactly, girl. That is the more reason why you need to put yourself out there. Go out with the doctor, for instance. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, doctor, please, have you seen Dr. Matthew? No, I haven't. Hasn't he been here today? No, he hasn't. And he has not been taking his calls. Oh, one minute. Okay. It's ringing. And he isn't answering. What's the problem? It's about the patient in what seven that he performed the appendicitis on. 
She has been due for discharge since two days now and is here to sign on the discharge form. That's unlike Dr. Matthew. And the mother has already started asking when they could leave. Um, that's fine. I'll take care of it. Okay. okay. Miss Abigail. <laughs> Day before she can start eating real food again. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, my darling. Very soon everything is going to get back to normal. Okay. 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 Free to go. You can go home today. Oh, wow. Thank you so Thank much. You, You're Thank you. are welcome. You're welcome. All right. So when you're done here, you can go to the cashier and set to your outstanders. All right. Thank you so much. You're what welcome. about Dr. Matthew? He is not around. But I want to see him before going. Don't worry. When you come back again to take off your stitches, you will have a fly time with Dr. Matthew. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Take care, okay? Okay. Thank Bye, you. ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Where are they? They left some minutes ago, Doctor. Uh, left where? They were discharged. Discharged? Who signed them off? I did. We've been trying to reach you for so long, but your phone wasn't reachable. You have no right! You have no right whatsoever to discharge my patient. And look, Matthew, no offense. But that patient has been due for discharge way back Wednesday. That wasn't your call to make. Elizabeth. Matthew. Oh. Are you okay? You look out of breath. You have no exercise. Like I should. Okay. 
I was afraid we weren't going to see you before leaving. Oh, if it was for me, I could have been here earlier. I will miss you. I'll miss you too. Like Princess Elsa. How? Oh, I'm gonna remind it me. Okay, like I promise. Come to remove your stitches. I'll take it to and watch Frozen too, okay? Oh. Are you okay? Yes. Thank you so much. Um, I was curious. Uh, if you're free this weekend, I could probably take you out for lunch. Just to say thank you. That would be lovely. But I'll be working all through the afternoon. Throughout this week. Oh, okay. But, but, but I'll be free in the evening. And dinner it is. Dinner it is. Okay. Bye. You like my world when you call my name. Just can't deny it. I've been touched by. For long. No, 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 it's okay, it's fine. The traffic in town was crazy. I understand. I have an option not to wait for you. I know. Thank you. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for long. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Good evening. Good evening. Mm, can I have some fried rice with uh, grilled chicken? Mm. The same is fine. Thank you. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You look amazing too. Thank you. But you're missing an accessory. Okay, what is it? Your headband. <laughs> <laughs> How is she? She's fine. She has never been in a better place like now. I was so scared for her life. Thank you so much for coming on board. It's okay. Just doing my work. Uh, which class is she again? Primary four. Hmm. And how is the grades like? She's a good student. Uh, it's just that her teachers complain that she talks too much. Oh, don't mind them, okay? <laughs> she has a healthy mind. Maybe a bit too healthy for her age. What's her hobbies like? She likes dancing. She likes singing. She likes... Wait a second. Did you come on this day to get to know me or to get to know Elle? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so sorry, okay? Just that I, I get too passionate and close to my patients. Okay, Elle, now I have to drop her. Back to you. What do you do? Thank you. Well, I work in PR. Hmm, for how many years now? Uh, for five years now. Oh, okay, amazing. Mm -hmm. So tell me, did you always want to be a doctor? Yes, since I was a teenager. Once upon a time, I had wanted to be a doctor. You know how African parents are so obsessed with their children being doctors? What changed? The fact that I'll be responsible for someone's life, whether they live or they die, I couldn't deal with that kind of pressure. <laughs> I can imagine. I understand. I totally do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for being an amazing doctor to Elle. Elle is such a beautiful soul. <laughs> long time. I haven't I done this in a while. Mm -hmm. I understand. Thank you. 
I love your hair. Oh, my hair? Thank you so much. I love your hair too. <laughs> that sounded a bit awkward, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's fine. I'm sorry, I'm not used to this kind of thing, you know. I haven't been on a date in ages. I can imagine, it's fine. But don't tell anyone the hair on my head is from Brazil. It's called Brazilian hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about with my Brazilian hair? I got the band from hell and I put it on. How do you think I would look? Mm. Mm? <laughs> Something's happening to me And it's happening so quick It feels like magic And that's how I can describe it Since you came into the picture Something feels so right. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? I can feel it, it's so real. Like the breaking of the day. Thank God you came my way. Cause ever since you came through, everything has changed. I'm lost for words, I don't know what. I guess that's how it feels to be touched by an angel You like my world when you call my name And I just can't deny it I've been touched by an Together, yes. Okay. From today, it's Matthew. No more Dr. Matthew. Okay, okay. So say something else. <laughs> uh, mommy has a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this game. Where did you get out this? Where did you creep this girl from? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's it. Um, are you going to bring the lunch? Yes, I'll bring the lunch this afternoon. Okay. I'll send it to you. Oh, I'm going to come at my side. I'll miss you. I'll okay. miss you more. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to come back again. <laughs> I don't feel like going actually. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, good morning, lovebirds. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, it's fine. All right, have a nice day at work. Bye. See you soon. Yes, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. I totally forgot we we're supposed to go to the market today. Mm -hmm. Why won't you forget when you are all over Mr. Handsome? You said 8 o'clock. Oh, I'm here at 8 o'clock. Let's go. <laughs> so, why is it here? Everybody is good. Yeah. Fine. She's fine. Everybody is fine. You are just glowing. Am I? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> so
So you are now having sleepovers, huh? Don't start with me. <laughs> Do not start with me this morning. Look at that glow. I told you before, you are glowing differently. <laughs> <laughs> so, you and Matthew. Hmm. Peter, like... He makes me feel so, so good. Oh my God. Is that good? Not everything is about sex, Rita. I mean, I love the way he is with L. Love. I know it's a bit too early, but I think... I think I'm in love with him. Ooh. I love him. Ah. <laughs> I'm so sorry for keeping you here. Yeah? That's fine. So whilst I was waiting, I ordered some potatoes and steak for you. <laughs> potatoes. But I'm sorry. I'll just replace it with something else. Why are you acting up? Is it because of what you overheard my friend and myself talk about? Nothing like that, okay? Listen, I am not ashamed of how I feel for you. But clearly you don't feel the same way for me and it's fine. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine, listen. You don't need to feel the same way towards me. It's cool. I lost my appetite. I'll see you later. Dara. I think we should change the colors. I'm not feeling it. All of them? Mm-hmm. Maybe you should go for this. Yeah. Go back again. This? Girl, are you okay? I'm fine. Sure? Mm -hmm. Did she tell you what happened? Look, Matthew, you, you need to understand that Idara being with you scares her. But I don't follow. You are the first man she's been with ever since Elle was born. You mean that she has not seen anybody for over eight years now? Yeah. Elle's father did a number on her. 
when he abandoned her when she was six months pregnant and relocated to Canada. Ever since then, it's just been her and Elle. What do you mean? Look, Matthew, family means a lot to Idara, okay? And she had hoped that she would raise Elle with her father, but now knowing that he is not here is really difficult for her, okay? Erita, you need to help me explain to Idara that I care for her. I love her, she and Elizabeth, so deeply. Well, then tell her. Tell her she needs to know. Do you Yes. You may have been the first to say it, but from the first day I set my eyes on you, on our first date, I fell in love with you. I want you and Elizabeth in my life. I love you. I'm lost for words. I don't know what to say I don't know what to say I guess that's how it feels to be touched by your this name You like my world when you say my name And I just can't deny it I've been touched by I'm lost for words I don't know what to say I don't know what to say I guess that's how it feels to be touched by your name I think you're out of tissue. Oh, okay. Um, I'll grab some when I go downstairs. Okay. Why did you lose your temper like that today? Oh, that. It's all right, okay? That won't happen again, okay? So, um, what about your family? Ada, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I need to rest, okay? Have early meetings tomorrow at the hospital. Why is it that you don't want to talk to me about your family? Because there's nothing to tell you about them. 
Why don't you allow me to be the judge of that? Idara, I said I'm exhausted. I need to rest. Tomorrow is going to be a long day. Okay? Why do you ask? Uh, it's, it's just that I saw him crying last night. You saw Uncle Matthew crying last night? Yes. Where? He was crying last night in my room. I see. Thanks for telling me. Hey, Mom. Hey, darling. Hi, honey. You're welcome. Uh, I prepared dinner for us. Okay. Good. Okay. What did you prepare? Ah, some. So. Oh, my favorite. Yes. Do you know that the internet now make us doctors look like we don't even know what we're doing. Like, we don't know our job anymore. My patients have this belief that she knows what she's doing on her own. You can't blame her for being curious. Oh, curiosity is one thing. But giving yourself personal diagnosis is very wrong based on what you're reading on the internet. You can't believe on that. You know that I love you, right? I love you too. And that you can tell me anything, right? Yes, but where are you heading to? I'm sure you know where I'm heading to. My family, right? Yes, and why you were crying in the middle of the night. Earl also says she saw you crying in the middle of the night. What is it, Matthew? I was pissed. About what? Talking about them gets me upset. What about them gets you upset? Idara. You are lucky to have a perfect family. Matthew, please tell me what happened. We don't talk. We haven't spoken in 18 years now. Since I left. The house. Matthew, that's a very long time not to talk to your family. Exactly. As I said earlier, you were lucky to have a perfect family. Idara, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Please hit. I have 
never seen him like this before. Dara, honestly, I know you want answers. Well, how about you just let this one go? But how can I be in a relationship? I know nothing about his family. And you know how much family means to me. I know. Okay, how about you give him some time? Yes, give him some time. Maybe he will tell you all you need to know by himself. I would, but... Whatever happened between him and his family has deeply affected him. Do you know I also am crying in the middle of the night? Really? <sighs> Dara, family dynamics can be really tricky. If you go looking for answers, you may not like what you find. Staying in the dark is definitely not an option. Yeah, you're right. Okay, if you need answers that badly, how about you reach out to his ex? Yes. The woman that was exactly where you are now. Okay. This is... How do I look? You look amazing, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> oh, mom. Look at the dress on Kumar you bought for me. Really? That's yes. beautiful. Thank you. Don't mention. Mm -hmm. Okay, which time are you going for a meeting? Now. I'm going to get ready and start leaving. Okay. okay. Look, look at something I can do. What? <laughs> okay. Let, let, let me arrange it for you. Okay. okay, I think you can go now okay. and leave me with my daughter. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now, just me. That song, you remember it? Thank you for agreeing to meet with me in such a short notice. <laughs> it's okay. I'm guessing that Matthew doesn't know that you agreed to meet up with me. It's just that um, I'm looking for answers. Aren't we all? What do you want to know? Like, how was it when you were with him? He's a good man. But unfortunately, there's this wall break that I couldn't just break through. And his work schedule, it made things very difficult. Trouble in paradise. No, 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 nothing like that. <laughs> nothing like that. If there was nothing like that, you wouldn't agree to be meeting up with your boyfriend's ex. It's just that he's been tight-lipped about his family. And he's saying they haven't spoken in years. That's the exact thing he told me. And when I wanted to find out more, he just shot me away. He said he hasn't spoken to them since he left for the uni. That's even more information than he ever shared with me. When we were together, he occasionally wakes up in the middle of the night crying. Wait, you haven't noticed? No. Wow. Maybe he's a lot happier with you. Or you're just a deep sleeper. Yeah. I got this a while back. That's the construction company that Matthew Father's own. I hope you find what you're looking for. Boy, what is it? Just a few of your friends. the reason Martin finally What's that? <laughs> you know
Jesus, I'm not lying. Before you, aren't you literally living in the hospital? Don't mind him, he does not have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm right back. Okay, then. Okay, hey, bro. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, you. Hey, Come on, you. Happy birthday. Hello. Hi, Pascal. Hi, Pascal. Okay, I'll catch him Thank you. Now I see. This is why you bluntly refuse to sign this. Oh, please, not that, okay? Mm -hmm. I will <laughs> meet my girl. <laughs> nice party. Thank you. Thanks for having me around. Thanks for coming. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, have fun. Bye. You'll have a lot of gifts to hold it. <laughs> what were you talking about? Doctor Bantam, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. So, since everyone is here, Okay. 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 What is he doing here? Your handiwork here? Baby, I... I believe you must be there. Yes, thanks so much for coming. I'm so... This is not what you expect. But he's here now, Matthew, and clearly he's willing to make amends, and that's a good thing. Which part of drop it you do not understand? Huh? You always want to have your ways. That's how you, you have your ways to organize party I never wanted to attend. What is wrong with you, Dara? I just wanted to help. I'm done having this party, okay? Go tell your friends to leave. My friends? Yes. Go tell them to leave. This is unfair. This is just so unfair. Is everything okay? The guests are waiting. Are you okay? Um, I need to go home. Yeah, I felt you needed the time, so I decided to wait. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yes. You ever find it in your heart to forgive me? Come on, son. There is nothing to forgive. It was it your fault? Yes. It was my fault. Shh. Come on. Enough of this playing game. Oh, come on, come on. You stay my son. Already talked, remember? We need to talk some more. Please. I was nothing but a broken man. Hiding behind the man. Hiding behind the man. Heaven knows I needed someone to rescue me. And somehow. 
Matthew. Hi, the younger sister. Her name was Chica. Killed her. in the kitchen trying to make some potatoes I never knew the gate of the house was open I never knew chicas crawled out All I heard was noise outside. By the neighbors, the chica has been hit by a KK driver. She couldn't stand the chance to survive. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My life is a charm. I pride myself on being a good doctor. While I'm a murderer. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. It is. It is my fault. I have protected her. I have locked the gates. Maybe she would have been alive today. I really don't know. Hmm. Yeah. That's why he's been stressing out. That is too much for one person to carry now. Haba. That's why he withdrew every time I brought up the topic of him going to meet his family. How is he doing now? He's holding up. You know, let me go and check up on him. 
Okay, okay, you do that. Uh, send my love to him, okay? I'll make sure I come see you people tomorrow. All right, bye now. I could pick up and tell them that you're not coming in today. Don't worry, my dear. Don't worry yourself. They'll be all right, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, my father want me to visit them this weekend. That's a good thing. I wish. But he's forgiving you. My father is not the problem. He doesn't have a problem, but my mom. If your father can forgive you, then she can also forgive you. <coughs> Yudara, my mom can, will never be like my father. When that happened, she stopped looking at me in the eyes, stopped talking to me. When it was time for me to go to university, she said I shouldn't step my foot back in the house. She was grieving. People say and do things they don't mean when they're angry. Besides, time has passed. I hope so. Listen, I will be with you every step of the way. Okay? Oh. Thank you. I appreciate you a lot. You're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> There's no word that can describe how much I've hurt you. Find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, Mom. Please, Mom. He's very sorry. He's been suffering from this gut all these years. As he should. <laughs> He allowed a four-year-old girl to wander into a busy street. What was he expecting was going to happen? What were you expecting was going to happen? Please. 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 He has suffered enough. Because. And I haven't. I am the one who had to bury my own daughter. One minute, I was kissing her goodbye. And the next minute, she was gone. <sighs> taken from me. You, you, you did that. You killed my daughter. Ma, please. I'll do anything you want me to do. Anything you want me to do, I'll do it. Please, find it in your heart and your soul to forgive me. I want you to suffer. Piko. Just the way he has made me to suffer. Maybe I should go check up on him. Allow him some time to himself, please.
Sir, um, I know it might not be my business, but isn't there anything you can do? If there's something I know so well, is that you cannot force someone to a place of forgiveness. It's going to happen. If it's going to happen, they have to go there at their own time. What's that? Would you like to see? That is Chica. Wow. She was beautiful. Yeah. That was the last picture she took before she... I'm so sorry. Queen Elizabeth? Yeah. That was a nickname given to her by her mother. We all started calling her Queen Elizabeth or Elizabeth. At all. Excuse me. I'm 100% sure that no matter who the person is, she's not as beautiful as you are, Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Don't you want to know what happened to Elisa? Elsa. Oh. Yes, Elsa. What's her hobbies like? She likes dancing. She likes singing. She likes... Wait a second. Did you come on this day to get to know me or to get to know Elle? Son? I thought you were spending the night. Are you okay? I am such an idiot. All this was happening right before me and I couldn't see right through it. Now I'm scared. What are you talking about? L is not a replacement for your dead sister. There's nothing that you can say that will make me believe you. Deny it, Matthew. I care for Elizabeth. Her name is Elle! And she is not a replacement for your dead sister. 
Did you delay our being discharged from the hospital? Tara. Oh. So everything Dr. Howard said was true. And I was this naive mother thinking that she could have a father figure for her child. Please do not contact me or come to my house. Peter, please give me the last chance to explain to you, please. Listen, Matthew, I can't help you. You need to solve your issues yourself. Good. How are you? I've started seeing a therapist so I can work on my issues. I'm glad that you're getting the help that you deserve. I invited you here just to tell you I'm sorry. Would you ever find it in your heart to forgive me? I already did. Can we go back to the way we used to be, or have ruined it? I'm a mother, Matthew. And that will always come first. 
even before the things that I want. And there will always be this part of me that will be wondering if you see Elle as Elle or you see your sister through her. And I wouldn't want that hanging over our heads. I know that's not the answer you want to hear. I understand. Hope you know what we share was real. Idara, I love you. Um, I have to go now. Idara, will you have one last meal with me? Sure. I would like to have potato salad with chicken. I will have same. Ah, okay, so let me get the waiter. Something's happening to me. It's happening so quick It feels like magic And that's how I can describe it Since you came into the picture Something feels so right What is happening to me? Ever since you came through, everything has changed. 